everybody welcome back to our channel um, today we are going to test out my $20 um, used convection oven to sublimate a Cricut um, coffee bar so we're going to watch this become a beautiful mug so I'm going to show you how to get your mug prepared first rubbing alcohol to clean. Just put a little bit on it, you don't need very much. Like this. This is a, um, a glass cleaning cloth for like, eyeglasses. There we go. You just want to get everything clean as much as you can. Have your image. Your image needs to be reversed. Slightly line it up away from the. I'm trying to make sure it's almost even. So it's, oh, I made the um, the pattern almost perfect even here. So this one has a lot of white in it. It's supposed to be a fast taping, but you hold it and you tape it down nice and tight. Keep it down. You never can have too much tape. All right. Um, you always have to make sure you have heat resistant tape. And these mugs are especially coated, so they have to be sublimation mugs, just in case. I didn't need to forget to tell you guys this. Um, I'm going to move it down a little bit so you can see it a little better now. So now I have that taped. We're going to want some blowout paper or butcher paper. So I like to do the same. I have it cut in a strip. It's a little bigger though. Take it and tighten it around. There we go. It kind of helps. In a way, guarantee that you have it uh, tight. When it, that's the biggest thing. You need your image as tight as possible down onto any hard surface you have. Put a little bit more. I mean, this is just the butcher paper, but I mean, anything will help it. I mean, you can't. I don't feel like it's gonna move. All right, now this is a silicone wrap, and it's got some metal pieces. I'm gonna lay it down, lint roller. Because if you can tell, there's stuff on it. Why? Because life. <laughs> um, cat, dog, kids, crumbs on my table. I mean, this is my dining room table. It's nice and clean now. Yeah, well, you have to clean it every time you use them. Steven asked me about cleaning it. So, this is wider. Than this. this is for 15 ounces. These are 15 ounces. Um, so I try to make it kind of even. There, and then you pull your buckles through. It's up and over. And there we go. Did you hear that boom? There. So these are ready to go in the oven. My oven is set for. Oh, like 450. I want it to be more 400, but you know, ovens are never exact. I'm gonna move you guys back up. Um, ovens, even our big ovens, are never exact. Um, and I don't have my thermometers. Those will be here Wednesday, <laughs> maybe Tuesday. Um, so I'm going to go and put them in my oven. So 400 degrees for 12 minutes is on average what I have found. Um, others have done, I mean, this is, I'm just starting out. 
um, I am also retaping this chunk of this video because last night I did this video um, for the very first time and um, you'll see different mugs than you are today but I mean same idea so um, <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoy this video and sorry my embroidery machine is going in the background but I have um, blankets to get done and stuff so um, Christmas time is right around the corner have to get those orders done so I will meet you guys over at the confection oven all right you guys I am at my convection oven um, not 100 percent sure what the temperature is it's been running for about 50 minutes. I've got it on 450, hoping that it'd be around 400. But we're gonna take a chance and try this. Try and move a little fast here. Put them in. And let's see if that works. I'm gonna go put um, 12 minutes on my stove. Because we don't have another, <laughs> um, another timer. The phone's being used, Steven's phone, and they are about to be used. So we'll be back. All right, there they are. Hopefully, it's heat and hot enough. Um, we'll find out. <laughs> um, I don't have really any other way to figure out how hot they are or hot, how hot it is in there, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll be all right. I'm not gonna move them around or anything. We're just gonna let them go. They've got enough space. It should be going good. Um, they're not laying down, so I shouldn't have to worry about marks, I'm hoping. I watch a lot of videos, so I'm hoping that they should be all right. Um, it was kind of nerve wracking, but fun in the other way too, so. All right, I'll be back. Um, after the timer goes off. All right, you guys, let's see if this works. Uh, kind of worries me here. I don't have any proper heat gloves yet. So we're gonna take these out with my clampers. Kind of hard to grab with those big old metal pieces in there. Be careful. I'm gonna put them over there. All right, you guys. I'm gonna transfer these over to my table. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys. Here they are. Nice and hot. Um, without the proper gloves, it's gonna be kind of hard to do. But we're gonna work on it. Um, I could see a little bit of the sublimation through the um oh what do you call it silicone wraps so um let's see if they turned out wish me luck i'm gonna turn you guys down a little bit so you can see hopefully that will be good let me peek to make sure yes good all right you guys okay i remember do not use my hands. But with a mud press, you can, because the handles are not hot. But these are hot. Move that so the silicone wrap can Let's move that wrap right there, just in case. All right. Bye. <laughs> I just don't want to touch it. Oh, this is so exciting. Hopefully I did it right. It's looking alright, but I'm going to tell you open up my eyes. This one has a lot of tape on it because, like I said, it's got a full wrap. I 
we taped it good. That was blurry. And when you're using an exacto knife, just be careful. Don't don't scratch your mug surface. I'm trying to be very careful. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I think I've got an awesome coffee mug right here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. All right, let's put that there. Um, I'm gonna wrap this coolish. We're gonna put the wrap over here because the metal's so hot. All right, let's leave that there with the metal. I just don't want it on my actual tablecloth. Alright, here's this. So let's pop this one open. There we go. Here we go. Be a little risky. It's alright. Oh my goodness gracious. That was so exciting. Put your paper. I mean, and the transfer is awesome, you guys. By the way. I use a Epson 7210 and Workforce and um, with Hypo or Kipco, but I think it's Hypo um, ink and sublimation paper. So, guys, this is so awesome. Because I have an order from my friend to do a cup for his boyfriend and I was nervous to doing it and I told him that because of, you know, it's a, it's going to be an important photo for him and I think I've got the confidence to do it. Oh my goodness. Truly, too bad right now. Oh goodness gracious, you guys! This is burning. It is about as beautiful as it was on my screen. I am so impressed. I hope the camera is picking this all up. Okay, there's that one. I'll show you guys better close-ups in a little bit. Get this one open. Kind of have to hurry. My little Evie woke up and wants mama. She's snuggling daddy right now. So, see, thank goodness for my blowout paper right there. Now, this one is for my friend that just opened up her own salon. So, once I get going on her design. I'll be making more of them for her. But this is for her. This one was really nervous about because it's a dark purple. Really dark purple. And I like really taped it. Just like um, the ornament one with my last name on it. Okay, hold on. There we go. See if you can put your exacto knife under the tape on the paper. And pull up. A little less possibility of getting your. Um, I'm just so excited, you guys. Your cup. Oh, that is pretty. I mean, look at the transfer. I'm gonna see if this is the right 
shade for her. I want to get a hold of her and see. I like it. It's huge. It's quite dark, but then again, the lighting isn't the best in here. But I know it's dark purple, so we'll see. There you guys go. I mean, awesome. My convection oven works good. Ooh, that's a little hot. Oops. So excited you're not paying attention to what I'm doing and that's it all. I'll put a little clip at the very end. There. This one I would want to change the font. I'm not the happiest. I'm not sure why Christmas printed that way, but I still thought it was a nice, um, a nice print to do. So. Yeah, you guys, it works. So, I mean, I've seen many people do it, but I mean, to do it in your own home with a $20 oven, I mean, it's cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna cut it here, um, and I am going to give you guys a close up. All right, you guys, we're gonna do a close up tripodless I uh shadows but look how beautiful that turned out I am so happy and it goes real close real close to the handle goes all the way to the top here all the way to the bottom and the whole idea because this did not have the words of course the whole idea was to make it look like it was burnt in with wood, uh, woodwork, and I think I did. It, to me, it looks awesome. And there's this one. Uh, it looks like real foil ribbon up there and a real tree, which is what I wanted, of course. And look how close it got to the edge. Nice clean lines. Oh, you guys. This is cool. There we go. And there's my friends. It turned out awesome. I mean, I couldn't be happier. But you guys, thank you for watching. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. Um, there's a lot more to come to this channel. There's a lot of crafts, gaming, family stuff, homesteading, uh, my chickens. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice night. Bye.